to recap series 7 we are revising current affairs for prelims for the year 2023 the session includes 10 of the important international summits which were held in 2022 so these are the list of the summits which we are going to uh, discuss the first one we start with cop 27 summit so in this summit the most important thing is the mangrove alliance for climate which india is also one of the important uh, uh, member and they have uh, launched this particular alliance in this cop 27 as part of unfcc united nation framework for convention on climate change it held in sharm el sheikh in egypt and the pioneers of this particular mangrove alliance were uae and indonesia and uh, in 2022 it was launched by the pioneers along with the members like india sri lanka australia japan and spain so remember spain is one important uh, country which is something odd so uh, we need to be very careful that spain is also a member and this particular mangrove alliance has a, a important agenda of uh, developing mangroves with respect to a solution uh, providing solution for climate change and unfcc it was established in 1994 as an international environmental treaty and uh, it has 198 parties and uh, out of which 165 were signatories so india is one of the important uh, uh, contributor in unfcc and uh, we have been uh, in various alliances and one important alliance is back so uh, try to figure out the uh, important uh, aspects of mangroves and even in budget the recent uh, 2023 uh, we have special programs which are launched with respect to mangroves to be developed in the western coast in india so kindly refer to that aspect also then the next important summit is cop the conference of parties 15 summit on combating desertification and it uh, held in western africa cote d'ivoire and uh, it was organized by unccd that is united nation convention to combat desertification which includes india with 197 member states the theme for this particular year was uh, land life legacy from scarcity to prosperity here they have discussed uh, important uh, aspects like drought land restoration and also related to uh, land rights gender equality youth empowerment so remember uh, when they ask a uh, uh, prelims question they may ask the combating uh, desertification summit uh, on lines of uh, unccd included the themes like land rights gender equality and uh, youth empowerment 1 2 3 4 uh, kind of questions can appear so remember that it is not only for drought and land restoration it is for land right gender equality and youth empowerment and uh, again uh, this was uh, introduced in 1994 as a remember it is a legally binding international agreement with respect to sustainable land development and uh, you have uh, sdg goal 15 uh, and uh, land degradation neutrality with respect to this particular uh, unccd so this is also one of the important summits which we have then comes one of the most important uh, summit the first european political community summit for the first time it held in prague and uh, it was first proposed by france and later it was uh, uh having 44 member countries remember the 27 eu members and uh, 17 other members so it is uh, internationally it is uh, kind of uh, viewed as an alternative to eu though uh, in the summit uh, all countries have said it is not going to be an uh, alternative to eu but still it will be viewed in this particular way uh, since it's a political organization and you know that in eu we have many uh, hurdles or hindrances in uh, admitting turkey and others so you can see here uk turkey switzerland okay norway ukraine georgia armenia azerbaijan uh, we had albania bosnia herzegovina serbia kosovo lesinchain 
Moldova, Montenegro, and North Macedonia. So there are many countries which are controversial uh, in EU membership, but they are present in this particular community, which is very, very important. And that's the reason why it becomes more uh, important, right? So 17 countries, uh, apart from EU members, are listed here. You can just check it out and uh, find some uh, important uh, countries like UK, Turkey, and all are uh, in this particular aspect. And uh, it talks about stability and security based on peace and security and energy crisis. So these two are the most important areas where they uh, talk about. And uh, the European Political Community Summit ended up with uh, saying that it is an enabling platform for more dialogue, more listening, and more mutual understanding. Right? So this is how they have uh, placed it. We'll see further how it uh, evolves and uh, whether it is going to be uh, really a check on European Union or not. Right? So this is also one of the important uh, aspects and even in mains, um, uh, it can be asked. Right? And the next important uh, summit is a general assembly uh, of uh, World Health Organization, the World Health Assembly. So 75th, uh, uh, assembly. So this is one important thing. So it is 75th thing. It held in Geneva in Switzerland. Health for peace and peace for health. So this is uh, one of the topics in which the theme was constructed. And uh, you know that uh, World Health Assembly is a decision-making body of WHO and it focuses on uh, uh, agendas which are specific to health. And the main functions are, it determines the policy of WHO, it appoints uh, Director General, supervises the financial policies, review and approve all the proposed program budget. So it's one of the most powerful bodies of uh, WHO and uh, it's 75th anniversary or 75th uh, meeting held. So that makes it important. Then comes the Global Youth Climate Summit. Actually, it is a, a summit which is organized by an NGO, the Global Youth Leadership Center uh, based in Bangladesh. So it was uh, in Kulna, Bangladesh, a summit held. And first time it was uh, connected by Bangladesh and 70 countries had participated and that becomes more important. And you know that Bangladesh was the first country to develop, uh, uh, first developing country to have such plan of uh, global youth climate related summit where they actually uh, strategize uh, youth leadership towards addressing the climate uh, issues or finding solutions. So that's one of the important aspects. And they uh, said that around thousands of youth across the globe have participated uh, in this particular summit. And you know that uh, Bangladesh is also uh, largely affected by climate change and stuff. Then comes the first India Central Asia summit, which is uh, one of the earlier events in uh, 2022. And it was a virtual summit and uh, it is one of the uh, important summits with India centered summit, first Central Asia summit. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan, along with India, so participated in that. And uh, it was on uh, observation of the 30th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship which we had with these Central Asian countries. And uh, they had a Delhi declaration since uh, India was a host, and uh, they declared that every two years they are going to meet. And uh, that means in 2024, they will meet uh, probably in person. And they have the, uh, different working groups, especially on Afghanistan, which is very significant to India. Uh, joint counter-terror exercise, which is also significant to India. Use of Chabaha ports by all five countries. And you know that uh, even uh, recently, uh, India sent a relief routes to Afghanistan through uh, Chabahar in recent times also. And we try to have a secretariat for this in Delhi. And uh, we also have other aspects like uh, hospitals, universities of uh, these countries uh, collaborating with each other. So this is how the first uh, Central Asian Summit uh, becomes important, not only for Poland, but also for Mainz. And this is uh, one important objective, what they have is peaceful, secure, and stable Afghanistan. So they can also relate it to, in this particular aspect, how India uh, Central Asia relations uh, ensures peace, uh, peaceful, secure, and stable Afghanistan in Mainz also. So for prelims, uh, we can have all these countries, uh, how India is uh, having uh, the cultural relations, so they can ask about the joint uh, uh, counter-terror exercise, etc. Uh, 
then comes the world dairy summit so this is one of the important summits uh, which is uh, conducted by or organized by international dairy federation and it held in noida in uttar pradesh in india and uh, the theme was dairy for nutrition and livelihood and uh, you know that india is uh, continuously ranked the first in milk production and we contribute around 23% of the global milk production followed by us china pakistan and brazil and in india uttar pradesh is the largest milk producer followed by rajasthan madhya pradesh gujarat and andhra pradesh and uh, you know that uh, international dairy federation which was set up in 1903 in brussels have 39 members including india and uh, the countries which uh, are members of uh, this dairy federation uh, contribute around 74 almost two third of the global milk production right so that's the reason why it becomes more significant and really uh, try to check out uh, certain recent initiatives in livestock management uh, especially the rashtriya uh, that is national level uh, mission the gokul mission rashtriya gokul mission where we try to increase the uh, genetic makeup of our uh, uh, native cows as well as the uh, exotic bovines so try to link with these uh, the questions can be asked in that uh, aspect also yeah then the next important thing is the 90th uh, interpol general assembly which happened in new delhi and followed this year that is 2023 will be the centenary of uh, interpol so that's the reason uh, both the uh, summits which is going to happen in 2023 in vienna so 91st interpol summit so both are going to become important so the 90th uh, interpol uh, general assembly which held in new delhi came out with first specifically designed the uh, interpol metaverse uh, which is going to be a law enforcement uh, 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 web which is going to uh, be launched which was launched and uh, the interpol's first ever global crime trend report was also submitted in this particular uh, general assembly and uh, in future that is in 2023 we are going to have this uh, 91st interpol uh, general assembly in uh, austria and that will be the uh, summit which uh, symbolizes the 100th year and it is headquartered in lyon uh, france and it has 194 member states and uh, they have around 90 million records so which is going to be shared uh, with respect to policing among the member states so in india cbi the central bureau of investigation is a nodal agency which uh, coordinates with interpol uh, and indian uh, investigation agency so cbi is a nodal agency in india then the most important uh, is a quad leaders summit so after a long time in tokyo uh, us australia india and japan they met uh, together and uh, uh, one of the most important aspect of the quad is uh, they had some initiatives the quad fellowship where 100 students from each countries uh, will be uh, graduated uh, in stem okay so the science technology engineering its degrees in us and uh, indo pacific partnership for maritime domain awareness is going to be uh, one of the thing of uh, focus then vaccine partnership and uh, space cooperation so all the face uh, space related area where you have uh, atmospheric monitoring flood mapping all these so us will uh, provide the helping hand for these other three countries so this is how the uh, quad is getting enriched and it is expanding and the importance of quad also increases uh, in this particular scenario then the last one the first global ayush investment and innovation summit it held in gandhinagar in gujarat india organized by ministry of ayush so this is the first uh, level global ayush investment uh, in, and innovation summit so that's what makes it important and uh, uh whose global center for traditional medicine initiative was also launched uh, in this uh, thing and india is aimed to become the ayush destination in world and that's the reason why they try to have global ayush investments so uh, all these put together 
some of the important summits in 2022. And for further updates, stay tuned. Thank you.